Hey guys, ViscoseComb24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build my 5 piston extender fully working on Bedrock Edition. As you can see, it all extends and it all retracts. And it does this all quite quickly. Um, it has a volume of 88 blocks, um, so it's 8 wide, 11 tall, and 1 deep. It's fully expandable, um, so if you wanted to, you could easily build it out forever on, e on either side. So without really further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. So really what you're going to want to do is build up at least two blocks from the ground and then build up a stack of five pistons like so. Now you're going to want to break out these temporary blocks that, you've had, that you probably would have placed and this is going to be the extender. Now right there are going to be the pistons that push up. So right here you're going to want to build on the side a quick torch tower around about that tall. It should look like a little teeny three right there. Now you go over here, torch, 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 and torch. And that right there is just about it for your torch tower. You're going to go down here two blocks below the bottom of the torch tower and place a block. Um, then you're going to want to get out your lever. Place it right there. It can be on this side, this side, or this side of the block. Um, but really that's just going to be where your input input is. Put a torch on top of that block. You should see the three pistons here extend like so, and a torch right there. Now you can flick your lever just to turn everything off while you work. Now go over here, place a normal piston facing up, torch on the side of it, and place four blocks here like so, and now you can place sticky piston facing out like that with a redstone block on its face. Now you can either place obsidian in the place of this block, this block, this block, that block, or that block. For the sake of this, I'm just going to put it there. And if you were to put the obsidian over here, you would have to have a block right there. Um, and that would also have to be obsidian. So it's more convenient if you place the obsidian on these three blocks right here. So now once you've got that, you can go over here with a normal piston out, place it facing in just like that with a torch on top, then put a repeater on two ticks, repeater on three ticks, um, no, four ticks and four ticks, then place an observer facing in just like that, and an observer facing up, block on top of that observer, and then two observers facing this way, like so. Put a block there and there on top of this block, put two repeaters each on four ticks. You can set this one to three ticks, but for simplicity's sake, I've set it to four. You can set it to three ticks and it'll speed up a little bit. Um, now, what you're gonna wanna do is go over here. Um, after placing your two redstone dust on those two blocks, place another observer facing in. Oop, not there. Right there. And then an observer facing up. On top of it, put a repeater on one tick there and a repeater on four ticks right there. Now you're going to want to get out your glass blocks. It can be glass or slabs. I prefer glass, but you can also use slabs here. And then put two glass like that, two dust, two glass, two dust, and then one glass and one dust. Once you have that, go over here, put an observer facing up, then an observer facing in, then an observer facing up, and an observer facing in. On top of this, ob this observer right here, put a repeater on one tick. Then on top of this one, put dust. Go down here. On this one, put a repeater on two ticks, facing in like that, and then another repeater on one tick, just like so. And now once you have that, you can flick your lever again, and you'll see it all extends. And it gets to there. Now for your final bit, this uses some pretty weird mechanics, but bear with me. Um, and I say weird, so pr pretty much what I'm using right now is the block that it's retracting for this last bit. As you can see that piston pulses and when I flick this again it pulses again. So what, I do, what I've done is I've used that um, the whole idea of that being powered to take an output with a repeater. So have a repeater on four ticks facing that way then an observer facing down like that running into a block another repeater on four ticks on top of that observer then place a temporary block right there an observer facing down, break the temporary block, 
and then put facing in and repeat around two ticks. And once you have that, you can flick your lever and you can see that the piston extender all pushes up and retracts pretty fast. So that's how you do my five piston extender. Um, I tried my hardest to keep it compact and cheap. I had to use a redstone block there, unfortunately, though, to get this whole thing working. And um, yeah, that's just about it for this video. I hope you all find this useful in some way. But uh, that's all for now. I'm ViscosComb24, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Kappa. Fuck. Hope you guys enjoy this real quick tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye.